In this question, the better approach is to use nodal analysis. That means we will write the KCL at these two nodes. Let this voltage be VA and this voltage here be VB, VB. And this we will take as a reference node which we assume it to be at zero potential. Now, first we will write the equation at this node. That means, by convention, we will assume that the current entering the junction be negative. So that this current will be minus 8 plus, we will assume that the current leaving a particular node be positive. That means, VA by 10 this is the current in this direction and now the current in this direction will be VA minus VB by 2 ohms it will be equal to 0 according to KC this will be our first equation now we will write the KC at this node that means VB minus VA by 2 is current leaving that node plus VB minus 16 by 6 ohm that is the current in this direction. Now the current in this direction will be VB by 12 ohm that is Zero. This will be our second equation. Now, from this it is clear that the value of E0 is equal to VB. Now, by solving these two equations with two unknowns, we can find out the value of VB and hence we can find out the value of E0. The numerical part I will leave it to you. Thank you.